Howard Tipton. Welcome to Tip Talks, which is a video series about all things Longboat Key. And today we're going to be talking about libraries because Sarasota County is getting ready to invest in a library that will serve Longboat Key and Lido and the other South uh, Barrier Islands. And so we're excited about this investment. And joining me today is Renee DiPalato. She is our Director of Libraries and Historical Resources. So Renee, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. It's good to be here. And so we're excited on Longboat Key about this library investment. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's coming on but tell me a little bit about your department because you have multiple locations that you're responsible for we do we have 10 libraries including our Selby library where we are this morning and then we also have the Sarasota County History Center so we operate 11 different locations throughout the county and Longboat Key is, is the only place where we don't have a library in Sarasota County so we're excited to bring library services to Longboat Key and to your residents um, you know Libraries provide a lot of opportunities for people to learn and grow and, and just stay up to date on information. So um, we're always busy in the library. So, you know, we have this image of libraries in our head of when we were growing up and, you know, the librarian, you know, doing this to everybody. And, but, but libraries have really evolved today. Tell me a little bit about that evolution. Absolutely. So libraries, I often say when, when people ask me what's most surprising about libraries, I'll tell you they're loud. <laughs> they're not the quiet places that we remember. Um, we really love to bring programs and workshops to our communities. So one of the things we focus on is educational programs, cultural performances. Here at Selby, we've got a great event this Friday, our One Book, One Community event, which is an author presentation. But you'll often hear music here. We have jazz performances. We have a rock concert series that we do. So we love bringing all types of enrichment activities to the community. And certainly, we focus a lot on technology as well. And I'd be happy to talk about that more if you're interested. Absolutely. No, please. Yeah. Uh, so technology, of course, has changed libraries immensely. We have a wonderful digital collection that people can access from anywhere. Um, we also offer a lot of technology training because we know that not everyone uh, feels as confident as they could about how to use technology. So we have a whole series of one-on-one -on -one tutoring that we offer to the community and it's all appointment-based and customized to your needs. And then last but not least, we love maker spaces and giving people the opportunity to use technology that they perhaps don't have at home. So our libraries have things like 3D printers, sewing machines, um, all sorts of technology that people can try out and learn to use before they invest on their own. Uh, the 3D printers, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with the 3D printer technology, wait till you try it. It is some of the most fun you can have, and it's amazing what you can do. So we're excited to try that. Yeah, very cool. So, so each library is built to the community that they're going to be serving. And so what are the things that you might forecast for Longboat Key? Sure. Well, I know we're still in the process of gathering feedback from the community about what residents want to see in their library. So that will certainly influence the direction that we take. Um, but I think we'll definitely have gathering spaces for the community. We know that people on Longboat Key have expressed interest in the types of classes and workshops that libraries offer. So we wanna make sure we have space to provide that. Um, and certainly our, our wonderful collections, people always love libraries for the ability to access books and information. So we'll wanna make sure to have popular materials for people um, for their reading and educational and entertainment interest as well. Now one of the things that makes Longboat unique, and there's mm -hmm. many things about it, uh, is that we are in two counties. Right. And so can residents who are in the man, uh, Manatee side of the town can they come into the library and check books out? Oh, absolutely. We have reciprocity with Manatee County. So we already have a, a large number of Manatee County users who take advantage of Sarasota's resources, whether that's collections, our physical collections are available for Manatee residents, as well as our meeting room spaces. All of our programs are open to the public and free of charge. So all of those things are available to our Manatee County friends. 
And the only thing that's a little bit of a sticking point is the electronic collection access card. That is correct. Although um, Manatee County residents can get those materials through their library, Manatee County Library offers very similar collections. We also offer temporary cards that come with a small fee every year that someone can pay and then that opens up access to our digital materials. They are so expensive that it's really a, a difficult um, collection for us to open up to everyone. Sure. So you mentioned the public input and one of the things that we're talking about and the, the library, if I hadn't mentioned it earlier, is going to be located at the town center green. So it will be phase three is, is that facility, that addition to the town center. So we're going through this public uh, input process and the public conversation is that there will be additional space added to the library for other meetings, uh, training and development, uh, could be lectures, could be other things, certainly all the things that seem to be very natural fit mm -hmm. with the library as well. And so we're in the process of that public input and then there will come back with the design. And the key for the town, of course, is that whatever the additional space is beyond that core library, will be privately funded and so there's going to be a period of time where we go about that but assuming that we can stay on schedule and get the funds raised uh, and we get the design done then we would be looking at potentially an opening in late 2026 or early 2027 depending on how things go right. which is just tomorrow oh i know it'll go by so quickly <laughs> It's, it's crazy. Well, it's a big commitment from Sarasota County. We're excited about that investment in our community and for the Barrier Islands. Uh, we can't wait for the grand opening, the ribbon cutting, and we also can't wait to actually see after all the public input exactly what all this is going to look like. Yeah. We don't know that yet, but we're excited about that. We are too. We're so grateful for the wonderful partnership we have with the town of Longboat Key, and it's been wonderful working with all of you. So we're excited, and um, we should also remind residents to visit our pop-up library which visits Longboat Key on a regular basis, and they can get a little taste of what the library offers. That's right. Well, we'll put that uh, information below here as we're talking so that you can get a sense of that schedule. It is all the services that Sarasota County provides in a van, basically, and uh, some of the nicest staff you'll ever want to meet. So, Renee, thanks <laughs> Thank so, much so much for having us. We are we're here at the Selby Library. Uh, it is a wonderful facility, just one of the many facilities that they have. I encourage everybody to get out and get excited about what's coming. So for now, uh, that's it uh, for Tip Talks. Uh, thank you for joining us. Until next time, be well.